What's going on, people? Hope y'all doing fantastic. I don't know what I'm going to title this video yet. Not sure. But um, I want to give you the definition of a tool. I just looked it up to make sure I'm telling you the truth. Make sure I'm, I'm good. Um, you can go look it up too. Make sure I'm telling you the truth. It is a device used to carry out a particular function. We got that, right? Good. Okay. Now, in this trucking industry, there are many tools. Um, now, depending on the function that you are trying to carry out or implement or whatever, it's going to depend on which tool that you use of your choosing. Hopefully, I'm following you. Hopefully, I'm not speaking too high. I'm, I'm speaking like this for a reason, right? So, with that being said, in this whole, in your trucking business, whatever, right? There are different tools to perform different functions. The truck is a tool, right? Depending on how it's spec'd out, it's going to depend on what function that you're going to perform is when it comes to freight. Um, a heavy truck will pull heavy freight, you know, and um, a lighter truck, you pull lighter stuff, you know. A dump truck will pull dump tr um, sand and gravel, uh, a tanker truck will pull liquid and stuff like that. You get where I'm going with this? Good. Okay. So, oh, load board, you know, some people have their own contract freight. Good. Another tool is, you know, you subscribe to a couple load boards, you know. It's a tool. It's no big thing. It's just a tool. Another tool. Here we go. This is this. Is, <laughs> oh man, I was laughing about my laughing to myself about this. Right? There's a a, a business guru on here YouTube, and um, number one, he says have an opinion, and number two, he says get you some haters. I can't really say it exactly like him. Get you some haters. I think that's how he says it. Right? So, what I'm going to talk about now is YouTube etiquette. Now, I don't care if you're putting whatever type of content you're putting out, trucking advice or uh, your day in the trucking or whatever, makes no difference to me. Has no, makes no difference to me. That's your channel, that's your space. Um, the stuff that I put out is my channel, it's my space. You're free to watch it. If not, you can turn the dial. Go down the dial like one of the radio hosts used to say. Yep, go down the dial. Right? So, <laughs> so let me talk about YouTube etiquette. Now, within YouTube, there are the social media platform of YouTube, Facebook, and whatever else. You can buy subscribers and you can buy views. It's a level playing field. Anybody can do this. It's not nothing big secret or anything like that. Now... Just because the tool is there doesn't mean that you have to use it. Some people say, well, that's cheating. Well, the tool is there. I mean, I'm just, just hey, just keeping it 100. The tool is there. So just, if it's there, some people choose to use it. Some people don't. Now, just because you see, let's say you look at a video uh, a channel, right? And you see a whole bunch of subscribers. Just because you see a whole bunch of subscribers does not mean that they bought views or bought uh, bought subscribers. Uh, they could have had a channel that is, I don't know, five, six years old or something like that. And when they first started, they could have been talking about something totally different. Not even in what they're talking about right now. And maybe you see or maybe they took the videos down to where you don't see them. Um, so that that's a thing right there. Uh, now some people buy views, no big thing. Um, some people buy subscribers. Now let me tell you about YouTube. Now I've known about YouTube for a little bit, and I, you know, I study the workings of it, the algorithm, algorithms, and stuff like that. Usually, the people that buy subscribers, they get their channel shut down right <laughs> so they get their channel shut down and all of a sudden they'll start throwing stones at other people because their channel still has a whole bunch of subscribers and stuff like that and now they're throwing stones because their channel is still up and operating get, get, didn't get shut down <laughs> oh 
know, that's why I told you. I can't believe I'm actually making this type of video. But, hey, get you some haters. But, see, and I talk about, and just for me personally, when I talk about, I don't put other YouTubers' name in the title for SEO, um, search engine optimization, um, uh, rankings, search engine optim SEO, search engine optimization rankings, right? Actually, that's kind of redundant. Search engine optimization. Anyway, you know what I'm trying to say, right? And that's just me. I don't, I don't do that, you know. Um, now, if I do do it, it's for a purpose. It's because I want you to hear what I'm saying, but I also want you to go listen to somebody else, whether. Um, hold on one second here. I was see what was going on over here. Um, what was I saying? If I mention, uh, if I put the, somebody else's name in the title, it's because I want you to go check that person out, not for SEO rankings. Okay. I hope I make sense with that. So if I drop your name in a YouTube video or drop somebody else's name in a YouTube video, it's, it's saying, Hey, uh, go check that person out. Now I may not agree with everything they say. I may have a totally different business model other than what the, you know, they're talking about, but just because I don't agree with it, that doesn't mean it make it bad information that I'm not saying that. Um, but go check it out because that may be where you're at and wherever you're at in your business or whatever. Um, so hopefully we got that cleared up, but, uh, that's all. I know I had to break that down like that because, you know, I say one thing and psh, some of y'all, y'all take off, be up there in the clouds with the chemtrails, right? <laughs> but that's all for this video. Um, so yeah, you can buy subscribers, you can buy, uh, uh, views, um, have at it. <laughs>